from Chicago, it's theCUBE. Covering Veritas Vision Solution Day 2018. Brought to you by Veritas. Welcome back to Chicago, everybody. We're here covering the Veritas Solution Days. Veritas used to have a big tent event last year. This year they're going out to, I think, seven cities around the globe, probably touching more people than they would have with a single event, but they're road warriors. And we're here with them. The Cube is the leader in live tech coverage. My name is Dave Vellante. Roger Dombrowski is here. He's a data protection specialist at DC Vast, one of Veritas's big solution partners based here in Chicago. Roger, thanks for coming on The Cube. Thanks for having me, Dave. You're very welcome. So, data protection specialist, so you're into it. Uh, but data protection is changing quite dramatically. There's cloud, there's the edge, there's, it, it, we just talked to Jyoti about uh, AI. Um, and, and so, lots is changing. What, what, from your perspective, how are customers responding to those changes? What are some of the key drivers? A lot of the key drivers, um, y y you know, used to be able to differentiate with backups and things like that. Now it's table stakes, mm -hmm. it's an insurance policy. Um, and that's kind of the old classic way of looking at it. But I think what today, what we're finding, and I think Veritas is doing such a great job of, is mining value out of stuff that's even been around a while. So while the workloads have changed, the, our, our best practices haven't changed, our strategies haven't changed, it's where things are going, but it's also mining that metadata to get more value out of the backups than to just be a insurance policy. So I mean, one of the obvious things is, is I've, I've talked about is DR, but DR is still insurance, it's just you know, more insurance and maybe you're killing two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about mining data and analytics and getting more out of the metadata, give us some other examples of how customers are, are exploiting and leveraging that investment in what used to be just backup pure insurance. Yeah, um, and in fact, it's kind of interesting because uh, InfoMap's been out for a little while, mm -hmm. and I think we've been going around to the customer base with a slide deck, maybe a couple slides, and really underselling the value. And what I've had a great opportunity to do with a couple of customers here very recently is get into some deep use cases. And it's been an eye-opening experience. And what's so amazing is the, the data we're, and the information we're gathering has been in their backups for years, right? It's like it, the data's been there, it's been untapped, we're tapping that with InfoMap finding stale data, ransomware, um, age data, all, all kinds of better ways to um, tier. Uh, you know, some of the discussions were around cloud and hey, do you really want to put cat videos in the cloud? Well, we can find those things with the backups and we've, and we've been looking at that data for years. We're finally now pulling the value out of that data. Uh, one of the speakers uh, earlier today talked about, um, he took us all the way back to the federal rules of civil procedure, <laughs> and, and, I guess the, and, and bringing together IT and legal, mm -hmm. so, so mm -hmm. those discussions now with Absolutely. GDPR, et cetera, yep. coming back uh, you know, to the fore. And it's important, you don't want data that could be a legal risk mm -hmm. hanging around. Everybody says, oh, big data, I can yep. keep all the data, and then general counsels go, eh, I don't want right. to keep all right. the data. Exactly. So the backup mm -hmm. corpus, is a way, you're saying, to investigate that and reduce risks, and also potentially identify you know, diamonds in the rough that you can, Absolutely. You can mine. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, yeah. um, let's talk about, I want to ask you about, there was a little company called Network Appliance, I think they were founded you know, back in the 80s, they changed yeah. their name in the 2000s to NetApp, kind of yep. got out of that appliance mode, but appliances are still strong in, in, in the marketplace. Everybody's talking about software defined, I think even Veritas uses it as part of its you know, description of who mm -hmm. they are, mm -hmm. and yet they continue to announce appliances as do, do others. Why appliances, you know, from your practitioner perspective, what's going on there? Well, actually, there's a customer who's actually here at the event today, and one of the things that really sold them on that whole form factor was the larger the company gets, the more siloed different aspects of your business are. You've got the, you know, if you wanted to make a change or implement something, you'd have the network team, you'd have uh, change control, you'd have the OS team, the d application teams. The appliance form factor is allowing the backup admins to kind of wrangle in a lot of that crazy, hey, I've got to have 20 groups involved in something. Um, purpose built and performance tuned. I mean, we see it all the time. Customers are still, they still look at us and go, well, I think I can do it cheaper, and I've seen them try to do it, and maybe they'll save a few bucks, but the soft cost in terms of headaches and problems and tuning and just limitations of building your own versus the appliance form factor. I mean, really. it's still got to run on hardware. Yes. So yep. you're saying, let the vendor do the integration. Exactly. That's sort of the appeal exactly. of the appliance. There are use cases for 
for pure software sure. based solutions. Sure. But yep. if you just want to set it and, and forget it, it really is that then the yeah. appliance comes into play. Um, what are some of the other big things and trends that you see? Uh, but let's talk about cloud. You know, the whole. I've often said renting is is always more expensive than, than owning. You don't necessarily yeah. want, if you want to rent a car for a day, well go for it, sure. but if you want to drive it 100,000 miles, sure. it probably makes sure. sense to, 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 to buy it or, you know, or even lease it. Um, we heard today about cloud repatriation. I mean, that's certainly a narrative that you know, a lot of the on-prem guys want to talk about. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing in the marketplace? I'm seeing, I mean, even before, I mean, I mean, we'll go back even four or five years, everyone's asking me, Roger, I want to get off a of tape. Let's, let's go to the cloud. And what's been so interesting is to do those calculations. And I think some people kind of fly over that 100 miles an hour. And Veritas was one of the first ones to actually preserve deduplication all the way through the process. So it really changed, I kind of call it that uh, uh, cost versus rent, uh, or own versus rent ratio where depending on how long you're keeping data, how well the data dedupes, things like that, that's going to affect your cost model. And that's really, in, in my role at DC Vast, that's a big part of what I do is to take the feature sets uh, that Veritas brings to the table and apply them and say, hey, does this make sense to put this in the cloud? Should this be on-prem? And the great thing again is, you know, Veritas isn't, uh, this isn't your dad's backup anymore. I mean, the Access Appliance, the Flex Appliance, some of these things we're bringing to the table, InfoMap, these other tools, we're not just doing backups, we're doing ancillary things to all of them. Just the geeking out a little bit, you talk about dedupe through the whole process. You mean without having to rehydrate exactly. the, the data. And, exactly, Which is just uh, time yep. consuming and, and, and complicated process. Absolutely. Okay. That's, that's a technology that they've they're pretty proud of, they talk about very, it Very, very, very much so. And I mean, if you look at it, we've always been able to do it, but it's been, it, it's the cost, right? If I have to virtualize an appliance in the cloud, it's a very expensive proposition. But if I can dedupe it, all I'm doing is storing small fragments in a cheap storage target in the cloud, that's all better for the economics for the customer. All right, Roger, I'll give you the last word, takeaways from, from today and any other thoughts? Oh, I loved hearing about the telemetry. There's some, mm. you know, some new features coming in. I've heard some of this material before, but again, to hear the different perspectives, customers talking about the technology and where, where we're going, it's, I'm glad, it was, I, it was, I'm glad we got to go and participate. All right, Roger Dabrowski, thanks very thanks. much for sharing your perspective. Thanks a lot, Dave. Great to see you. Take care. All right, keep it right there, everybody. The Cube will be back at Veritas Vision in Chicago right after this short break. I'm Dave Vellante.